Hello, hello, this is Minecralix here, and welcome to episode 7 of Redstone Ready Super Flat Survival. It's a fine day. It's such a fine day. I'm looking out into this abyss that goes on almost forever. Forever, forever, and forever. And the only place that th things are different from being just sandstone and stone underneath is here. The only place where there is any devi deviation from the normal super flatness of all this five times as big as, or, or I think it's like ten, ten times bigger than Earth's surface. The only place that deviates from it from the flatness is this tiny area right here. It's not tiny, but compared to like, I don't know, 14 quintillion blocks, it is very, very tiny. So anyway, I have mined many, many, um, I mean, I have grown many, many trees, um, and I have used quite a bit of um, bones for that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make weird there's just a cave noise i'm gonna make some ladders right now i'm gonna make quite a bit of ladders because ladder is a useful thing in minecraft Let's see yeah uh, yeah we got yes we got um a stack and about a half so let me see yeah this is where i have to be really careful mm, do we have any torches no we don't have any torches i'm going to now Make some torches. Let's see. I'll just make ten. Yeah, I'm gonna make ten. I think that's gonna be enough. Maybe twelve, I don't know. Just add a bit here. Anyway, um so I'm just gonna climb up here. Just hold shift as not to fall down. And just place all these ladders down. And oh my god, of course it's gonna be loud as heck. Yep, I kind of failed on that one right there. I can't, I can't place it here. I have to place stone right here. Let me see. This feels a lot like Skyblock now. <laughs> Let me see. Expand it right over here. And just a few blocks here. Hey, maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to use some of this cobblestone wall on this. Yeah, actually that was a pretty that would be a pretty great idea actually. Just mine this. I mean I have a lot of cobblestone walls and just to make it look good. It's gonna be a little kind of maintenance area right here for maintaining my mob grinder if ever I need to expand it which I will probably expand it because I am definitely not satisfied with the amount of drops we get from it it's not that it is inefficient it's just that I need more drops because to go to the nether and um, to get more iron and stuff so anyway, let me just I, I was just about to say, let me just light this area up, and then I remember that we don't have any torches, so we're gonna have to go down for torches. Because I was just making some torches in there, let me just consolidate that here. And we actually got that stone block. Yeah, it doesn't look a bit different, you could just see the platform there. Uh, anyway, yep, looks like we got that 12th shark, let me just pl plop it in here. So yeah, we got 48 torches, pretty good. Let me climb up there. Actually, maybe I'm gonna place a torch right here just because I want to place a torch here. Um, place a torch here, here, then place a torch right here, right here. Place a torch right here, right here. Um, right here and right here. 
and looks like we should be good. Mm, yeah. And let me just place some more ladders right here, and right here's gonna be the hard part where we have to. Yep. And this is going to be my maintenance area for whenever I need to maintain anything. I think I'm gonna make a crafting table just in case because when I'm up here maintaining these uh, things here, I'm gonna make some slabs. So I'm actually gonna take a peek inside the mob grinder. It's pretty dangerous, but you know. Yeah, it looks like the creeper doesn't really wanna go in there. Yeah, as you can see, like, the reason that it's not very efficient is because, like, these people are, j well, uh, I mean, these mobs, they're just standing here, and instead of actually, like, falling inside, they just stand here and just, um, take up the spawning spaces. So, it would be definitely more efficient if there's something pushing them, but I don't have any water, so I can't do anything about it. And it is so beautiful up here, definitely. The views are pretty good. Anyway, so that's what's with our mob grinder. But, oh, one thing I forgot to say is that I'm thinking, so when we expand it, what I'm going to do is, like, when I'm going to expand it, I'm going to have the same two down here. I'm going to have the same opening, except I'm going to, like, build my spawning platforms up here. This is going to be level two of the mob grinder. And um, it's going to be dry as well, but stacking the mob grinder can make it very, very efficient, even with a dry design. But, of course, it is limited, the, the designs are limited based on the um, amount, like, since you can only have a certain amount of uh, entities in a chunk, like, right here where it says E, it says four, um, oh, I just threw up, so where it says, like, entities, 12 out of uh, 78 or 81, so it, you can actually, like, you can actually run out of entities, and if there's already too much mobs, like, no new mob spawn, so it won't make the mob grinder ex extremely efficient, it will just make it a bit more efficient, and that bit, that bit more of efficiency will, um, I, I hope it will increase, like, the amount of mobs we get. So let's see, we got 12 carpet, is that enough? Uh, I think now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, no, it's definitely not enough. We have to get way more than 12. And this is where my broken chest comes in, where I can repair swords like that. So, anyway. Um, we got, we got, yeah, we got that going, which is good. How, what just happened? Wow, that is how, like, why... That was very... That's a very small. How did the creeper blow up such a small area? Well, that's weird. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad. I thought I was gonna die there for a second. That was pretty good. So, uh, anyway, guys. So, one thing that I'd like to note is that... Let me see. I'm just... Yes, I'm going to, um... Basically make a platform in case I want to... Like, yeah, right here can be my platform for, um, for when I want to, let's see, how should I set this up? Don't look at me like that. Anyway, so let me see, how should I set this thing up over here, so, it's just gonna be like right over here, so wh what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to have like an area where I can kill mobs when they're a one hit kill, now let's see, I'm gonna craft some slabs, or I think I have, or some, yeah, I have some stone, um, cobblestone slabs here, exactly for the purpose. So right here, what I'm going to do is, I think, yeah, this is going to be good. So when they fall down, I'm just going to hit them like that. And, and yeah, let me see. This is just going to be the same right here. So whenever I want to, but then when I don't want it to be like that, oh, actually, no. Yeah, this is, this is a bit harder than I expected. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and farm the mobs right here. I don't really remember how I did it in my um, Skyblock Let's Play, but I am going definitely going to have to have like some. I don't know. Uh, this is definitely gonna be late game stuff, but maybe we can have it so that there's gonna be like pistons, and then when we press a lever, it's gonna be one hit kill, and it's gonna go like, whoosh, and then like um, put inside the blocks. That's gonna make them one hit kill. Yeah, I don't know. I just have to wait till zombies fall down there, and um, as you probably guys know, you to get a one hit kill like to um to get iron from a zombie it has to be like it has to be registered as a kill by the player and to be registered as a kill by the player the player actually has to hit the zombie the zombies they can not die from fall damage and still give iron because it's not going to be registered as a player kill uh, anyway um i think we got to quite a bit of things here. I don't really see any point in extending this episode any further because we already built that little area up there to maintain it. I, I won't bore you guys out with waiting for um, these mobs to fall down. I won't bore you guys out with mining cobblestone because if I want to extend this mob grinder, you um, if I want to stack that mob grinder farther up, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like get more cobble, and I don't want to bore you out, guys, with me mining cobble all the time. So, and look at who came. Anyway, um, so um, I hope you liked this episode. This was Minecraft, and see you all in the next episode.